Hello and welcome to another video of me, Teller Tacos. Today we are going to be making a simple main menu GI. And it's going to look something like this. And of course it's fully customizable and you can do anything you want with it. So let's get started. So I have prepared uh, a GI here. I have a folder, or I mean a frame called main. And then I have two buttons. A play button and a settings button and then I have a settings frame that looks like this and inside this settings frame I have a, another text button and I just named it time of day like that and in workspace I also added a part that looks like this and it's pointing right here and this is gonna be transparent so add in a part that is transparent and has the front surface pointing to wherever you want it to. And as I said in my previous video, you can use the resurface to know which side is the front surface or just experiment. Okay, so let's get started with the script. Uh, I'll add in a local script, name it mm, menu handler, like that. So let's start by uh, defining some variables. So local player is equal to game or yeah, game dot players dot local player. Local cam is equal to workspace dot current camera. So we're gonna get the cam, and then local starry cam is equal to workspace dot main menu camera. And this is this part that we added in right here. And you can name this whatever you want. Just remember to also have it here, the same name. And then we're gonna do the local play button. Take it to script dot parent dot play, and then local sit settings but but <laughs> button. Take it to script dot parent dot settings. And then we're gonna do local local settings yeah frame is equal to script dot parent dot settings frame local main is equal to script dot parent dot main or script parent like that so now i want to set the camera to this c frame of this part we have right here so we're going to do repeat and this is just to make sure that we really really get the camera type uh, but you could probably do without this repeat loop but i often do it just just because to be to be sure that it, it works so enum dot camera type dot script the ball cam dot cam uh, camera so camera subject is equal to workspace dot so you can just start a camera so. and then cam dot c frame is equal to start a camera dot c frame and then we're going to repeat all of this until this and this and so if all of these things are happening then we're gonna and then don't forget the double equal sign as well for if statements. Um, and not cam, it's cam. There we go. Okay. So now, play button. So when we press the play button, uh, we want to set the mainframe visibility to false and then we also want to set the camera type to custom and we want to set the camera subject to the player's character so player dot character there we go and now i'm gonna program the settings frame so we click this it's gonna open a frame and then you can click again to close it and that's really simple just do settings button, 
mask button one click connect function and then we do settings frame dot visible is equal to not settings frame dot visible so this is gonna set the settings range visibility to be the opposite of what it already is so if the settings frame the visibility is true then it's gonna set it to false so that's really simple and that's i like it doing that way so we can set out and see if it's working so right here we have the camera click settings and you get this open and this doesn't do anything yet and then you click play and the player again and yeah it's working so this is a bonus i'm also gonna be programming this little button just because it's fun so the name of it is time of day so in this i'm just gonna do local day is equal to true because in my game it is already um daytime and then local light uh, lightning is equal to game get service lightning right did i yeah okay. then script the parent got mouse button one click connect function and then let's do if day is equal to true so if it's day this variable then we're gonna set the day to false and else we're gonna set the day to true and then we're gonna also set the lightning dot clock time to something that's kind of night so let's say 2 a.m and here we'll set it to 12 and then script dot parent dot text so let's say day right here and then on this let's say night and then script dot parent dot background color let's set that to background color three actually color three dot from rgb and then set it to something like maybe like looks cool something like this maybe and then on this side let's do something like day like like this or what we already have here oh we don't want to <laughs> we don't want to exit out um this color is great like that so that should be working so we have a really simple main menu screen like this settings exchange from night to day like that really simple click again uh, oh did it get an error oh miss i thought something was wrong let's see background color three of course like that so yeah, really simple, like this, no night day, you can play, and everything's working good. So, thank you for watching this video, um, and yeah, have a good time, bye bye.